Welcome to this brand new series where we're going to take this alpha clone right here, a brand new character, and we're going to make enough money in game to purchase Omega and keep it with a little bit of passive income so our life doesn't become just trying to afford a premium account. So I'm going to go step by step through this journey so you can follow along and copy exactly what I do. You're going to end up with millions of ISK and a lot of new knowledge. I've been playing since 2007, and I've learned a lot of hard lessons. I've made a lot of expensive mistakes, and I'm going to share as much of that with you as I can. So this is Clown, right? Clown is our new character. We started with 5,000 ISK. However, we got an extra half a million from being online for two hours. I haven't done anything yet. Um, I haven't even undocked. That was just from putting stuff together for this series. So I also got a million free skill points. And the way that I did that, I used the referral link. So Eve has this refer a friend kind of thing. And you get a million skill points if you sign up with that link. So use your friend's link. Get a million skill points. If you don't have a link, I'll put one in the description that you can use just so you can get started. A million skill points is worth about a month's worth of training in game. It's going to save us a lot of time, get us started a lot faster, and you're just really going to need it if you're going to follow along with what I'm doing. So, now, over the years, I have... I've had my hands in many things, and... All the way from mining in high sec to massive fleet battles in null sec to ganking on every single level. So this run, I have a few rules that I'm going to follow and things that I want to accomplish. Number one, if it's not fun, don't do it. I see a lot of players get sucked into things like endless hours of mining in high sec. The money is terrible, they get bored, they burn out, they leave the game. I don't want to do anything like that. I don't care if it's good isk. You know, I want to I want to focus on the things that are a lot of fun to me because it's going to keep me playing the game. Number two is get to Omega as fast as possible. I'm thinking it should take like 30 days, maybe a little bit less. I can't imagine this is going to take six months. Getting passive income on the second month is uh, its going to be a little bit more of, uh, of a challenge to do that on month two. Just because once we get Omega, we'll be able to get a heck of a lot more trade orders. And we'll be able to do passive income through the market fairly easily. We're going to build spreadsheets for that. I'm going to show you how to do it. Might even make a community spreadsheet. So that's kind of the third thing. Create passive income. Um, trading is the number one way I've always made ISK. It doesn't really take any time at all. It just takes time to set it up. And then every now and then you got to micromanage it and fill up inventory and move stuff around. But that's about it. I really want to have extra time for things like PvP or exploration or just fun things in general. So the fourth rule is I want to set up our skills and our new character to support just a very open future. I'm not sure what path I'm going on. And to be honest, you know, I, I don't want to have to pick that at the beginning. So most of the skills that we're going to be training are going to be things that we'll be using forever no matter what path that we go down. So some of the things that I do want to do is region trading and hauling i've i've just got a big passion for that i mean it's not super exciting but it's super exciting when you log back in and you know there's tens or hundreds of millions of isk in your wallet from from the day before abyssal dead space so there's tons of videos about it on youtube and i found a way that we can take a day one character and make 20 million a day uh, I, I had to watch a lot of videos. I ended up making my own fit. I did it with the Rifter. People said that, you know, the Rifter wasn't a good ship for it, but uh, I actually did it in Firestorms, which is 
Uh, it's supposedly one of the harder ones to actually complete. And you can do them really fast. You can do them in like five minutes each. And like I said, it comes out to about 20 million esc an hour. We're going to be doing that either today or in the next video. I want to do some exploration in low sec and null sec. So I've done a lot of exploration in the past. In null sec, I've made upwards of a billion esc an hour. It's not always consistent, but it's very possible to get out there, and it's super exciting and pretty risky. It's a lot of fun. Jedi gas mining in wormholes. So, I messed around with a little bit of gas mining the other day on my main. It was kind of fun. It was super sketchy. I was reading some things about it, and there is a lot of this to be made there. So, it's definitely something that I want to try. I do want to do a little bit of mining, not like high sec mining, but like mining in dangerous places, like jumping out into low sec and mining a little bit, or um, going out in null sec and wormhole space and whatever. I, I don't really know a ton about mining. It's just always been super boring to me, but I'm wondering if there's ways that we can mine that are actually fun. Okay. So now we've covered kind of like what the idea is. So let's go into some guides. I put some stuff together for you guys to make this a little bit easier to get started. So first of all, uh, we have a, a channel now in, in EVE. So to get into this channel, all you do is click chat channels, go to chat channels up here, and you type EVE clown and click join. Easy as that. I'm already in the channel, obviously. Um, but I'll be in there. Hopefully we get some community members in there. You know, ask some questions. Be ridiculous. Whatever. Um, in there, there's some instructions to the mailing list. But I'm going to show you how to do that. Because that's where I put all the resources for you guys. So, if you click on mail. And you go down to add mailing list. Again, you're just going to type Eve Clown. And when you click join. You're gonna get a mail. I'm already a member, okay? You're already, you're gonna get a mail that looks just like this. That's got a ton of super useful links on it. So, uh, it's got the link to get your million free skill points. Uh, this right here is a skill training plan, which we're gonna do this here in a minute. It's got a bunch of fittings for different ships that we're going to be using for this journey. There is a link for the overview, which is super important. We'll go over that here shortly. And then a bunch of just outside tools and links. And then, of course, the elusive trade sheet, which we will be building together. All right. So that will be in your mail. And you'll always be able to reference that. I'm going to update it kind of as we go. All right. Lastly, character creation. So I picked Min Mitar. Now, you can pick whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But for Alpha, I want access to some specific Minmatar ships. And when we do the beginner career missions, almost all of those ships are going to be given to us in those missions. So it's just going to make this a lot easier. It's going to save us several million isk. Uh, so I went with Minmatar. Like, I need the probe, I need the wreath, I need the rifter, I need the thrasher. Those are the, I'm pretty sure you get all of those in the career missions, which we're going to look at those here in a sec. All right, so let's get some, some skills training for now, because we have no skills going. So, um, I made the, this 20 million an hour plan. And to get that, again, if you're in the mailing list and you just go to this mail right here, this is going to be the first link right here. You click 20 million an hour on day one, and it's telling you right here that you do not have the things you need for this. So all you got to do, click this button right here, and it's going to tell you what books you're missing. You're missing Repair Systems 1. So click on that. It's 58,000. We already have that much. Or if you don't, you can do this. Actually, you'd be starting with, what, 5,000, but then you get... You get a little bit more. Yeah, so once you get uh, the first mission done, then buy and eject that. All right? You you can get, get through that. 
So now we're lit up. Start training. And there we go. We have skills training and we are off and running. This is going to take 10 days for this. We're probably going to inject most of this. We're just not going to do it yet. We're going to hold on to those million skill points. We can go down here and we can go ahead and claim those million skill points and use them when we want. Bam, just like that. Okay, so we have some skills training. Uh, we need to get to our career mission agents. So to find them, we're going to go over here to the agency. And we're going to go to agents and missions. And then career agents. And it's going to tell you, see, we're three jumps away. All of mine are three jumps away. So we can just right click on this and set destination. All right, now we're good. We're ready to go. We can go ahead and take this little ship and undock. While we're out here, let's set up the overview because the one that they give you in game isn't it's not very good um it's really hard to see a lot of different things and we want to fix that so like this only has general targets mining uh a few tabs everything's cluttered it's all shoved together into one uh so i put up uh, i put together an overview that's going to help us get through that so if we go back to the mailing list oops, all mail it's the link right down here, a new overview. All you do is click this and click yes. So now we have uh, PVP, we have our PVE, our fleets, our drones, our loot, if we want to mine things, and if we want to warp out. I need to update that because that's all lowercase. So let's, uh, let's get headed over to our destination. We can go to the travel tab here. And I'll see you when we get there. Okay, and here we are in our rust bucket of a Minmatar station. I kind of prefer that. And we're going to get started with these career agents over here, over in the agents tab. And uh, it's kind of important to do all five of these. It's going to take you a while, but you're going to end up with a ton of ships, a ton of stuff. Just bring it all back here. Go ahead, go up here right click this station set it as your home station and now if you get blown up if anything happens you're just going to end up right back here um and then we're gonna we're gonna figure out where we're gonna move from here most likely Renz, heck dodixie one of the smaller trade hubs but we'll go over all of that and i'll explain all of that to you shortly i'm gonna go do all five of these career missions and i will see you guys back here when i am done and we will see what we have to work with and we are back. I have completed all five. It took me a lot longer than I expected. Uh, a few hours. But I got a ton of great stuff out of it. And I got to tell you guys, I cheated a little bit. So this is the probe. I actually got it right away because I did Explorer first. And this thing is an absolute beast. It's like a Swiss Army knife. I used it to do all the combat missions, everything. I only switched ships when it made me switch ships. And in both of those missions, I lost those ships anyway, so I was kind of grateful. Uh, this is the way I, I set it up. And the way that I cheated was I got three Hobgoblin ones off the market. So I did an absolute ton of damage with my drones. I had to inject a couple skills to do that. I think all I needed was I needed drones three. So I injected these. It, it was only a little tiny bit of our 1 million here. Um, but that is how I got through it pretty quickly. You just drop your drones. Everything dies. So uh, the other thing is I, we got 53 rewards from going through all of this and uh, in doing that. We can go ahead and claim all of these. It'll be fine. So let's claim these. And it already took us to here, which gave, to, gave us another 50,000 skill points. Actually, you got to go down here to rewards and you got to claim this. So this is everything that we got from doing that. So tons of money. All right, let's redeem the current station. Yes, there's an extra 1.3 mil. 
Okay, so that puts us at 12.2 million, which is perfect. I'm going to get everything moved over to Heck real quick, and then we're going to end up jumping in the Rifter, going up to Jita, getting ready to kind of deck that thing out, and get it ready to do T0 Abyssals so we can start making 20 million an hour, which is crazy. It just took me like four or five hours to make this 12 mil here, and we got like a ton of bonuses. I tested this out in Adventure the other day, and that's like 2 million an hour, so super worth it to do this. All we got to do is a little bit of logistics, move stuff around. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to move everything over to Heck. Uh, then I'm going to get started on the next video so you guys can get grinding on those T-Zeros and make a ton of money.